All right, hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Today, what I got in store is I want to do a little unboxing and review of the Ultra Pro Deck Builders Premium Pro Binder. Um, I wanted a binder for a bunch of my cards so I can easily view them and see them, and I thought this was a good way to to do that. So I want to open it and check it out with you all and uh, see if it's worth it. I can't remember how much it was. It wasn't too expensive for these binders, but they are uh, more than just like a three wing binder you can get in an office store. But that does include a bunch of these sleeves. It holds 480 cards, standard and small cards in Ultra Pro Deck Protector sleeves. I'm not sure what small cards means. Um, sorry if my voice is a little weird. I'm a little under the weather today. Uh, premium padded cover. You can tell it's kind of squishy. We'll check out that in a little bit. Designed for collecting play sets of your favorite trading cards. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, this thing is huge. It's already coming off pretty much... Uh, <laughs> the whole screen of the camera. Uh, for example, this is a, a fat pack, and uh, this is actually a laptop. So it's a little bit bigger than my laptop. It's a big, it's a big book. So yeah, know that. But it does have four, eight, twelve. Tw um, you can have three play sets on each sheet. If you can see on this picture here, and I'll go over that and open it. It says side loading pocket design for added card protection. Uh, Acid-free non-PVC, so it's not going to like burn your cards or something like that. Embossed middle black web material framed frames cards. Not sure what that means. <laughs> and uh, it has a zipper enclosure for added card protection. I think this thing was like $21 or something like that. Uh, I can't remember the price off the top of my head. But it wasn't crazy expensive, and uh, I've heard really good things about it. Let's go ahead and flip it over and see if there's anything on the back. Pretty much just a warning about suffocation. Uh, keep out of reach of, of kids. Got like a little Facebook and a little Twitter thing on the back, and like the barcode. And yeah, let's uh, go ahead and open this up and see what we notice right away. There are some little white specks in here, but I think it's just like some fluff or something from the factory. Okay, right off the bat, it's got like a textured feel to it, if you can kind of see it on camera. And it, it feels quite nice, and it's not really picking up any fingerprints or anything like that. It doesn't have a gloss, it's more of a matte. It does say Ultra Pro uh, in the bottom right corner, which is alright with me. And uh, let's look at the, the spine of it. It's made of that same looking material, it looks pretty nice. The zipper on it. It's got like a tough plastic on it with a little bit of give to it. Pretty cool. It's not going to fall off. It's like molded around the metal. And on the back of it, it's just the same material again. Um, kind of got like a crossed pattern, kind of like this or something like that. It's just a nice uh, nice material. It's not gonna, it doesn't look like it's going to scuff much. And even if it did, it has like the cross pattern where you're not going to pick it up that much. It's, uh, it's nice. It doesn't really pick up fingerprints or anything like that so far. And uh, yeah, let's just go to unzip it. Let's just see the zipper first. That's not bad. It hasn't been caught or anything like that. Zipper on the corners. Cool. And open it up. It looks like there's a little bit of tissue paper in here just uh, because they want to. Not sure why there's an extra one in the middle. Yeah, so it's just uh, kind of like a, a velvet, I guess kind of on the inside, this kind of interesting, really like soft material. You got all these uh, card sheets here with the play sets across. You can put four cards here, your play sets of whatever cards, one, two, three, f uh, three on each page. Pretty cool. Um, this. They look pretty good. It looks like that I did rub my fingers on the back of it. And it looks like it did leave a little bit of black ink on my fingers, which is kind of weird. But it does rub off. But still something to note. Kind of gross. <laughs> Just from the factory. And it says it does hold 480 cards, which I believe is 120 play sets, which is quite a bit. Maybe this will be your trade portfolio or something like that. I just wanted it so I could easily... Uh, the black actually comes from rubbing your fingers on this part right here, which is kind of weird. And I wonder if it, after a while it will all come off. But that's actually a nice solid amount of black fluff on there. It's kind of gross, but it does just kind of rub away. 
then again, you don't really want your cards rubbing on it too much. Mm, kind of gross. But uh, hopefully, after a few uses, it will stop. But that's kind of disappointing. I kind of don't like that thing. Huh. Anyways, let's uh, go ahead and see what kind of cards will fit in here. It did say uh, standard size or just regular. So I'm going to just go ahead and stick a card in there. Uh, cool. Really easy to fit in there. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and close it up. And I want to shake it and see what anything crazy happens. I'm shaking it off camera just because this thing is huge. But... Okay, I'm going to unzip it. And there's literally not much, if any, uh, get the gross ink on my fingers, though. not much of any movement at all. Ugh, that's kind of disappointing to me. I don't want to even be handling these cards like that. But uh, for the sake of the video, I'm going to continue. Let's see if uh, a top loader will fit in here. A top loader does not fit inside of these. Let's see if just some Ultra Pro sleeve cards will fit in here. Let me just grab a couple out. Oh, I'm making a mess. Okay. Let's just see what happens. These are, I believe, KMC sleeves in here. There's quite a bit of room in there, so I do think that they will fit nicely. Really easy to get them in and out. Uh, not much toughness or anything like that. These are just some other um, just penny sleeves with like a bigger top on them. They do fit with a little bit of... These are quite tight in there, but uh, it really does work. You might end up bending some of the corners. These so are just like the Ultra Pro, uh, just like penny sleeves. But they do fit in there. Interesting. Let's just try to slide these in there. Yeah. Not too hard. And there's a lot of room here for a whole lot of cards. Yeah, pretty cool. And uh, again, I'm going to just go ahead and close it up. I'm going to zip it. I'm going to shake it up just one more time. Just kind of shake it. Like, kind of grab one of the edges and just shake it. And uh, let's see if anything crazy happened. Um, looks like there was a little bit of movement on this one. One of these tried to slide out just a little bit. But really nothing fell out. I really like the zipper enclosure. Um, it's a really nice material it feels like. It doesn't feel like it's going to zip. The zipper um, looks pretty sturdy. And there's a lot of room in here for a whole lot of play sets. Just a bunch of blank... Um, Pages. It looks like they were kind of ultrasonically welded or something like that. All these plastic sheets were put on there and they just put this like die and pressed it down. Pretty cool. And yeah, just uh, a nice little portfolio that I want to have just so I can see my playsets. So when I'm building decks, I can just look through and see all my playsets. Anyways, I just wanted to show, share this with you all. I want to open up in front of you. Sorry if I sound a little funky. Um, I, my, I kind of have a fear right now. I'm not feeling the greatest. And um, the only disappointing thing about this is uh, hopefully it disappears with time. But there is like a black hue of ink or something that comes off on your fingers from rubbing on this uh, velvet material. Just kind of gross and kind of disappointing. So keep that in mind if you're going to buy this uh, product. Anyways, I feel like this is still a pretty good deal. For uh, the folder that it is, the portfolio that it is, you can hold your play sets across. It is huge. It is very big. So keep that in mind. Um, it wouldn't fit in a small backpack, but it should fit into a regular size backpack. But like if you have a small one, I doubt that it'll fit. And like once again, this is just a laptop and it is a couple of inches wider and a little bit shorter, but it is huge. It is ginormous. And this is just like a fat pack box. If you can tell, that's huge. It's not even, it's hard to even get it on camera how big it is. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by. Let me know what you think about this, if it's worth it, and uh, I'll catch you later.